Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, we will be discussing Kubernetes namespace and Kubernetes context. We will learn in which scenario you should be using Kubernetes namespace and context. Hi, my name is Rakesh Suryavanshi and you are watching Be A Learner. When you create a Kubernetes resource in your cloud provider, Kubernetes resource by default comes with couple of namespaces. Some of the namespaces are used by the Kubernetes system services to manage the communication between the master node and the worker node. And there is a default namespace which has been created by the Kubernetes resource wherein all your resources are going to be application specific resources are going to be provisioned. To find out the list of all the available Kubernetes namespaces, you can run UCTL get an S or namespace then that will return the list of all the available namespace you can also run QCTL to get NS which is the shortened for the namespace so that will display all the list of namespaces so you, you can see that we have four namespace available by default we have queue system, queue public, and node list. Queue system is again the system services namespace, and the default namespace, as I said, it is going to be responsible for holding all your application specific resources which you will be provisioning. If you want, you can create a new new namespace with the help of QCTL, create NS, and then give it the name of the namespace that will create the new namespace. So if I run the namespace command again, you will see that we have a new namespace demo created just four seconds ago. So what namespace gives us, it gives the ability to manage our resources in a logical partition. So we can specify at the time of creating the resources, we can specify we would like to create the resources in this particular bucket of namespace and when by doing that, what you get is you get the you can manage the life cycle of all the resources available within that particular namespace. So let's say for example later stage you would like to decommission all the resources created within the demo namespace then you can run kubectl get or kubectl delete namespace and then that will delete the uh, namespace from your Kubernetes resource and it will also delete all the resources created within that particular namespace. So for example, when we used to create a new resource, let's say if we create a new busybox image, for example, I'll call busybox image and what will happen, it will create the image into a default namespace because if we do not specify the the namespace name in the command line so that will consider the current namespace which is the by default, by default the current namespace is the default namespace so that's where it has created the namespace the, the busy box pod in the current namespace so if i run kubectl get all that it will display the list uh, the busy box container we have just now we have created so now if i run kubectl describe and then pod is the So this is what you get and you can see that we have these particular, this resource busybox pod resource created in the default namespace. In order to provision the resource in the specific namespace, you can pass on the namespace parameters like this and then that will create the namespace into a specific resource. So now you see we have another busybox container created. If I run kubectl get all, so that will display the uh, resource from the previous command. Whereas if I run namespace equal to demo, then that will display the uh, busybox container which we have created just now in this particular specific resource. So this is how you can create the uh, namespace. Uh, you can create the resources into separate 
namespaces. You can also use the shorten command for that, which is qctl get all and then name spaces and demo. So that will display the same result. Now let's understand what is context in Kubernetes. So when you connect to Kubernetes cluster, let's say I have the Azure Kubernetes cluster created in my subscription and I would like to create a now I would like to connect to this Kubernetes cluster. I'll be running az cli command, which is az aks get credential that will download the credential, create set up a context on my local machine. And using that context, I would be running the kubectl command in order to interact with this aks cluster. So for example, when you run this like this and you specify admin as in so that you can interact with the admin as admin user that will create the context on this particular location. You can view the context detail using the kubectl command, which is kubectl config and then view command. So that will help you to display all the available context on this machine. So as you can see, we have the available clusters, which I can connect from this machine. And then for to connect to those cluster, these are the different contexts I have. So for example, this is the context AKS learn, which is using this particular username. Then I have another AKS cluster created in my Docker desktop, which I can connect to using this particular context. Now to get the list of all the contexts using the kubectl command, you can run kubectl config get context with s that will display the list of all the context and you can see that we have these context which is the current context marked as an asterisk sign to create a new context you can run kubectl config set context and then dash help so that you will get the help to create a new context you can run now command kubectl config and then name of your context which is aks provide the username which I've already copied and then cluster name which is aks learn you know our cluster name next you need to provide the namespace so if you do not provide the namespace it will by default connect to your default namespace but our objective here is we would like to demonstrate uh, how do we create a new context which is targeting to same AKS cluster but within the different namespace so that when we would like to run kubectl command against that namespace uh, or, or target the resources available in that namespace, demo namespace, then we will use this context. If you would like to target the default uh, namespace resources which are created in default namespace, we will use the, uh, the other namespace, uh, other context. So let's see, sorry, I missed the set context, set context, and then the name of the context. So let's see if it creates the context. The context is created. I can verify kubectl config get context. So that will display the list of all the context. All right. Now let's switch to this particular new context. kubectl config use context and then provide the name of the context, which is a case. So now we have successfully switched to this context. Now you know that we have the this box container created in the context. So now we run this kubectl get all without providing the namespace in the command line that will basically connect to the resources available in the AKS namespace, uh, demo namespace. Now if I describe kubectl, now if I run kubectl describe, now if I run describe pod busy box and that will display the details so that you know that this resource is created and this, this particular namespace. Now any command which I'll be running under this particular context 
that will be targeting to the demo namespace instead of targeting to the to the default namespace. I hope it is clear. So this is how you can use the namespace and the context in your Kubernetes interactions. I hope this was helpful. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. See you in the next video. Thank you very much.